you're watching the Model Railway Files and this is part four of the Station Project series where, as you can tell by the title, we're making a station. And If you haven't seen the other videos before this one then I recommend you do so that you can catch up to where we are at this point because we're quite far on. But anyway, the people who have watched the other videos, keep on watching. So, the update, I'm going to do a small update of what I've been doing over the past week, which is quite a lot actually, because I've, while you've been gone, I've actually painted these beams so they look like wooden when you look through the windows. So they look a lot better now. And also, I've made a few additions to the ticket office as we're going to call it. And we've got a person inside now who will be selling tickets. And we've put two chairs in as well. They're just little bits of plastic and on top of some pieces of cardboard. And as, I as they won't be seen, that won't matter. The person is made by Model Scene, which is a British company. In fact, I've got the box somewhere here. There we go. It's Model scene. This is their pack of station staff. They come in a pack of five, and there's a few others there that I haven't yet used. I had to cut off this man's leg so I could sit him down in the seat, though. Anyway, as I said last episode, this episode is all about building beats, so at the moment we don't need that. And so far, I've made a start by painting the inner walls and the edges of this building in the colours it will need to be. haven't yet done the floor though, but that will be the same as the um, um, A floor. So I'll do that in a, a quick video, a bit later on in this video. Since last week also, I've got some more Hornby benches, which will go inside this this building here and form a little waiting room. I might paint these in the next video as well, because I don't want them that colour, really, for the region I'm doing the video on. But anyway, let's get on with building B. Right, so now it's time to paint the building B floor while the rest of the building B is drying. So I'll speed this up a bit, because if you've watched the other videos, then you'll have already seen me do this once with building A. So I'll be doing the lines as well to make it look like wood. So yes, here we go. is now ready to be used in building B. I've, what I've done is I've painted it brown, then put lines on, then painted it brown again over the top to make to dull them down a bit. Once that dried it'll, once it's dried it'll create a really good effect. But the paint I used, the brown paint, was a Tamiya paint and it's Tamiya red brown XF XF64. That, that says 64. It's quite a good paint, that one, for stuff like this. So, anyway, let's start to put it together. Right, now the first step to put building B together that we need to do is to put the floor and the building itself together, which will form the main structure, like that. Except this it'll need to be glued. So it's time to get my glue out again. And to glue this one, firstly, you probably want to get some little dabs of glue along the bottom of this edge. Especially on the bottom of this bit, because that's where a flap, a good helpful flap is. There we 
we go. Right, and now we can push this against the floor. Like that. You might want to hold it for a few minutes while it dries. But you won't have to watch it dry because it's literally watching glue dry, so I'll pause the video here. Right, now that's dried, we can get on with the next step in the instructions, which is to fit the doors. Which, if you've watched the a previous video, we've seen me make them before. These are them here. This one's for the street side, which is that side. That side there, and this is for the platform side, which is that side. These, these won't take much gluing on. So, let's do that now. Need a few dabs of glue, not too much. This, this glue is quite good and quite strong. There we go. And there we go. If you just line them up to the frame on the door. That looks like a proper station door. Now for the other side. The fact that these doors are so thick as well strengthen the structure of the building. So it's just a few dabs. And again, line it up to the door. There we go. Should be a little gap on the edge here. There we go. And now those can dry. Right, the doors are now dry, and while I've been gone, I also fitted one of the windows. So you can see that this is now starting to come together. What we need to do next, as stated in the instructions, is fit the inner wall, which could which goes along here and here it is here I've already painted it because it used to look like that which is not very appealing and it simply slots in here just like that Now, you can glue it. I've got some different glue for this. This is Rocket Card glue. It's quite good as well because it's got a fine tip here. Now, while that's drying, we can move on to the next bit. And now, we've moved on to instruction sheet two. So, we've finished the first instruction sheet. The first instruction on that is to fit these three pieces together, which I have prepared here. And that shouldn't be too hard, because that's just like how we did for building A in the last video. Just a few spots. These window, these ones will actually be easier, because these ones don't have windows, unlike in building A. So that one goes there. And that one goes on top. Just like that. And that's that done. Simple as that. Don't need to really do any painting on this because it won't be seen at all. Because the top will be covered by some capping stones and this bit will be inside and that will be, be stuck to the, that wall there. So, there. so that can dry now. Right, now while you've been gone, I've, I've cut a bit away from the, the floor of this. That's simply because when I finish this, actually making the building, I want to put lighting inside it to make it look a lot more realistic. And so, and so all the wires will go through there and through the baseboard and the platform to the power source. And so that makes it a lot easier. Especially since there also is no windows in here, so it doesn't need to be hidden. So that's where everything, every wire will lead to. But anyway, now that that's pretty much dried, can actually fit this onto, well, here, 
on the building, which will not be very hard at all. Change a few bits of glue. And then to just need to fix it on there. That. There we go. Simple as that. That'd be a good idea to lean it that way. So you can check sure, make sure that it's flush to the edges. Because that can be quite important with a model like this. There we go. That will be drying now, but while this is drying, we can get on to the next step, which is making the roof supports, which will, in the end, bits of these will hold the canopies on the outside of the building. So these are just like the supports in building A, and that you need to fold them over like this. There we go to make a little channel there we go then we need these inner bits again to fill out the channels just got three of those got the waste off there there we go, three just need to check that they will all fit yep they will so that's all right now I need to glue them all together Inside the sem fit inside the beam. I just need some glue on the outside. Not, again, not too much. And fit it there, like that. Make sure it's all flush up to the edges. And then hold it until it's dry, which won't be very long. There we go. And now that can dry. So we need to glue it now. And on this side, you need to put a few bits of glue in random places. I've done that now. Now oh, this one's a bit more complicated than the one in building A. You actually have to slot it through that hole there, that one. And you have to do it without getting glue everywhere. There we go. There we go. And that is now fitted. Make sure it's all squashed down. And while we're here, we can also put some glue on the end of this chimney stack. And glue it around like that. There we go. Just make sure that you can 
right up to the edge. There we go. Right, now for this other beam. Which is just the same as the last one we did, except that it doesn't have the big triangle for the roof. So I just need to make a channel again. There we go. Right, and some more glue. And now that can dry. I've now fitted that centre beam. Now the building is really coming along. And if we put it next to building A, as it will go in, in a few episodes' time, it will look like that. And as you can see, it's really coming along now. The station is getting a lot bigger. But I'm afraid that brings us to the end of this video because it's getting very long and next episode we'll be doing the f building C as stated earlier so that will come out here a bit and there'll be two little sections to that also next video I might start fitting some detail in more detail in here like the Hornby benches once I've painted them and you never know next week we might actually get it all together but anyway that's all for this week thanks for watching one day the station will look like that but yes thanks for watching please watch our other videos in the series so you can get up to date and because they're really good so yes we'll see you next for the next video in about a week's time goodbye